In this video, we start to look at costs. We're going to go through and define the six terms in front of us. Number one, output. Output is just what you think it is. It's how much produced. So Pepsi might have output of 1 million bottles of Pepsi. A farmer might have 50,000 units of wheat. An oil company could have a certain number of barrels of oil produced. Fixed costs are costs that don't vary with output. So with fixed costs, as output goes up and up, the fixed costs stay exactly the same. So rent for a restaurant is an example of a fixed cost. So imagine you, you start a restaurant and you rent the land and you've got to pay $1,000 a week. But you pay the $1,000 a week no matter what. If you have zero customers, you owe the $1,000 a week. And if you have hundreds of customers, you owe $1,000 a week. So you have to pay your fixed costs, you, you know, even if you have no customers, but you still pay the same fixed costs even if you have a huge number of customers. Costs that aren't fixed costs are variable costs. Variable costs are costs that do vary with output. Your variable costs will be zero if your output is zero, but as your output goes up, variable costs are the costs that go up as well. So for example, food for a restaurant is a variable cost. The more customers you serve, the more food you need. So food, unlike rent, is a variable cost. Total cost is an easy one. Total cost is simply fixed cost plus variable cost. And this simple way of looking at cost, everything is going to be either a fixed cost or a variable cost. Your average total cost is just total cost divided by output. Average total cost tells you, on average, how much does it cost you to make each unit of output. Average total cost is really important because it tells you your break-even price. If you sell good for you know, everyone for the same price, then the price is on average how much you get for a good. Your average total cost is on average how much you pay for a good. So if you want to break even, you set price equal to average total cost. To make a profit, you've got to be able to charge a price above this. Marginal cost is how much do total costs go up if you produce one more unit of output. Now fixed costs don't increase as you produce more output. So what marginal cost is saying is, if we increase output by one, by how much do our variable costs increase? Another way of looking at marginal cost is saying, how much extra does it cost the company to make one more unit of output? So if Pepsi is measuring output in terms of bottles, you could say, how much does it cost Pepsi to make one more bottle? Or in terms of an oil company makes gallons of gas. What's the cost to the oil company of making one more gallon of gas? Or if a software company is measuring output in terms of how much software it sells on the internet, you could say, what is the marginal cost to the software company of selling to one more person, selling one more software package over the internet? And in that case, the marginal cost could actually be zero. It could cost the company, even though they spent a lot of money on the fixed cost developing the software, maybe it cost them nothing to sell one more copy of the product. Marginal costs can actually change as output changes. It might be that when you're producing a small number of goods, your cost of making one more good is small, but as output goes up and up, maybe the marginal cost of making an extra good, that could actually get very high. Now these six definitions I've given you, I know they seem simple, but it's actually really important to have a very good understanding of them uh, before you go on. So you might, if, you're not, if you haven't, you're not already familiar with these terms, it might be worth rewatching this video. Thank you.